Today's one that I've seen everywhere in all the saves that I have done in my AC Milan save, I have seen this guy's name every single place on every team's list. Let's check him out. Today's name is Josip Chutalo, a 22-year-old Croatian sitting as a center back for Dynamo Zagreb, has been there since 2016. He has been there quite a while. 41 appearances, two goals already, uh, two caps to his name. He's looking pretty good. I mean, as you can see, tackling of 16 is fantastic. Mark of Marking of 15, heading of 14. So he's pretty good in the defensive categories already. Mentally not too bad and physically not too bad at all either. 22 years old, definitely above the Wonder Kid level. However, he still has a full career on. And like I said, I've seen his name everywhere with Manchester United, Real Madrid. I've seen just all these different names that have been tied to him uh, in my saves and in FM in general. So I want to take a look. But as you can see, 7.2 to 22 million, 6.5K per week. He is not expensive at all. Uh, he is well known across Europe. So he's he's been around the block a little bit, but where is he going to end up in 10 years? We will soon find out. As you can see, he's already had his first international cap. He's got a couple champions uh, trophies in hand, but let's just skip the next 10 years and see where his career ended up. So as you can see, in 10 years time, at the end of the 2033 season, he has moved on to Real Madrid. He is now rated at 22 to 66 million. So actually not too bad still. 33 years old, 110 caps under his belt. 185k per week, but he's a regular starter. So 22 to 66 is not too bad for a regular starter for Real Madrid. As you can see, 23 starting for La Liga, 7-3-0 average rating, 3 assists. Uh, Champions League, 10 starting. He's not a bench player at all, apparently. He's either starting or he's not. I wonder if there's a kind of an injury problem that he's got, so we'll take a look at that in a minute. But 704 average rating for Champions League. He moved from Dynamo Zagreb to, in 2023 to Real Madrid, 221 appearances, five goals. Uh, he seems to be doing very well. And as you can see, his stats, tactically, for a defenseman, definitely nice. Uh, some of these free kick taking, finishing, you don't really care about. Corners of two, not great. But, I mean, again, first touch of 15, heading of 15, marking of 16, passing of 15, tackling and technique of 16 to 15, very nice. And his mentals are really good. Uh, physicals have definitely picked up 15 in acceleration, 14 in pace, stamina 14. So he, you know, he can run up and down the pitch. He can do what is needed. So he's definitely one you should probably take a look at anywhere in that top flight status. Career stats, as you can see, he did move to Real Madrid, 27 million, 70 and above every single season in this game. 706 his lowest. Yep. Nope. 703 his lowest, but still, I mean, La Liga doing very well. Uh, it's 7.03, I wonder, or 7.30. I kind of wonder how he'd be in the Premier League. If you've had him in there in your teams, let us know. But, I mean, he's looking pretty nice. Milestones, as you can see, a bunch of seasonal best 11, Super Copa de España, Champions League winners, uh, two, uh, Copa del Rey, uh, Super Cup. You know, he's got trophies up the wazoo almost every single season after he got uh, into Real Madrid squad. Still winning things with, you know, before he moved from Dynamo Zagreb. So, overall, I mean... Yeah, he's good. He's pretty good. Injury-wise, not too much, but when he gets an injury, there's a problem. Uh, from this major in 2027, five weeks, two moderates, another major for five months, broken lower leg, ouch. Three moderates, a major for two months with a torn thigh muscle. So yeah, if he's going to get a major or if he's going to get an injury, it seems like it's going to be a bad one. So that is definitely something to watch out for. Um, again, not too many injuries, but they're not good at all. And by our face, you can see he's earned recognition from the soccer community. He's won the Croatian First League Player of the Year, Champions League Defender of the Season, and Croatian Player of the Year. So uh, not a lot for La Liga, but Champions League Defender of the Season is pretty damn nice. He definitely could have won a bit more. So, I mean, I don't see him as the best defender out there, but again, he's not very expensive if you, if you pick him up. Uh, what was he? He was at 27 million. Not too bad for a defender uh, whatsoever. But, you know, I'm sure there are other out there that you could get for better. But still, he's looking pretty nice. I would definitely take a look at him if I was in the market for a center back. So I really had to work for this one. It is 2036. 
Uh, he is 36 years old. This is the final season of his career. And as you can see, his tacticals have dropped a little bit in certain respects, but still first touch heading, uh, marking, I think passing has gone down a little, but tackling technique are all still up there. His physicals have gone down. He's no longer, I mean, he was at 13, I think, maybe 14. So he's dropped down there, but mental still fantastic, as you would expect. But only, what, eight plus five appearances this season for Real Madrid. 6.93 average rating. I'm going to guess it's going to be an in another set of injury, just filled career uh, or end of career right now. But 800K to 2.4 million, 174K per week. I mean, I could actually see him if, depending on the injuries, I could see him going to the MLS uh, or somewhere like that and kind of doing another year or two afterwards. There you go. Uh, he's got a couple more slights, but a couple more modits. Another major sprained knee ligaments uh, during the match, five weeks out. So yeah, he's he's definitely at the end of his career. Time to give it up. Uh, again, MLS maybe, but still, overall, I think he's had a fantastic run. Real Madrid from 23 to 36, two, only 281 appearances though. That is an insanely low amount of, of appearances for that time period. 13 years, nine goals. Okay, I'll give you that. But still, uh, I mean, I, all his injuries have kept him off uh, for quite some time, unfortunately. Milestones, still what you would expect. Copa del, Rey, Copa del Rey winners, Super Cup winners, Champions League winners, La Liga winners. Uh, yeah, He's got it all, and he's just continuing on. And as you can see, if I look at his plans, he's, he plans to retire on 714 2036 714 interesting. But retired from international soccer back in 2000. So, so unlike Moises Casado, who retired from international soccer about eight years before he retired from his club career, uh, Joseph Chutalo has actually retired in the same set, the same year. So there you go. So, but overall, 36 years old, 129 caps to his name, four goals. He's He's done fairly well. Definitely one to take a look at uh, if you can get him before Real Madrid gets him or anyone else. But still, not expensive at all. Uh, throughout his career, he doesn't seem to be all that expensive. But anyway, that is the career of Joseph Chutalo. I am Stephanie FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.